No, the consistency has been good. Uh, game in, game out, we've we've reached a a good level of performance, which is why you pick up results. Uh, no, no secret. I said before, good players working hard gives you a chance to get results. The most important thing for for Kilmarnock as a football club, probably as a town as well, is that we've we've given a little bit of pride back to the to the area. You know, the, the, the club's in a better place now than it was 14 months ago. And that, that's the most important thing. The, the rest of the, the chat about top of the league and great runs and great calendar years was really quite irrelevant. It's the fact that the supporters come to the game now and, and they look forward to coming to watch the team. That, that's important to me. It's always going to be difficult. I mean, you only have to look at the last seven trophies that have been up for grabs in Scotland since Brendan came to Celtic. Celtic have won them all. You know, so it's going to be difficult. I think what what's happened this year is it's it seems to be a little bit more competitive. You get to December and we're lucky enough to be top of the table just now. Hearts have been top of the table, Rangers have been top of the table, and obviously Celtic top of the table. So it's seems to be more competitive, but there's still a lot of games to go, and there's, there's still time for the the so-called bigger clubs to pull away. Every group of players that I've ever worked with, they don't like losing. They don't want to be the team at the bottom. They want to be successful. They want to They want to enjoy coming to their work. And the best way to enjoy football is to win matches. Uh, the group of players that I've got here have bought into that philosophy. They, they work hard every day. And at the moment, they're getting the rewards on the pitch on a Saturday, on a, on a midweek. You know, when they go to the pitch, they get the rewards. No, I think obviously I know a lot of people in the area who are, who are happy just now. I know there's, there's many Kilmarnock fans that are, if you like, not, not living the dream, but dreaming about the possibility that we can do great things. They're allowed to do that. They're supporters. That, that, we have to allow them to dream. We have to allow them to think about uh, crazy things. We have, to, we, have to, we have to keep our feet on the ground. Difficult game tomorrow. And tomorrow, all I look for really is that we, we meet our own high standards. And if we do that, then you never know. I've been asked this question a lot. When I came to the club, I had no expectations. I, w I wasn't really sure the, the level of the group, the standard of the group. Now, this season, I think they've just lived up to my expectations. I knew going into the summer was important to keep... The players that we kept was important to bring in two or three Around that, maybe on loan, uh, players like Greg Stewart, like Aaron Tishbola, like Dan Bachman, that would give us that little little bit extra and that little bit of push to, to be competitive. So, no, they, they, are, they are living up to what I think they, they can do. Yeah, it'll be good. It's always good going to the, the big stadiums, playing against the big teams and trying to prove that, you, that we can be competitive with them. That, that's all we try to do. The only, the only expectation or the only ask I put on my players tomorrow is to play as well as they can play. And if we do that and it's good enough to get a positive result, then great.